We are starting our first DIY with some frames. So I'm using the 8x10 pan and ones. And for my American watches, you can get these from Dollar Tree. I mean, not the exact same ones, but you can get photo frames. So you should be able to do this DIY as well. So just starting off, we're going to get rid of the backing and these hooks. All you want basically is the frame. Now I've run out of frames so if you have a third frame that will be great because you can just use that doing the same thing just making sure that you have the frame without the glass but I have run out so I'm just going to improvise and use the backing. So I'm just removing everything I've got the clip off and now I'm just going to get rid of this backing. As you can see it comes off really easily. Now we're going to be creating the structure. So this is the base and then it's up to you if you'd like to arrange your frames like this. I think I'm going to turn this this way around because you're going to see all the wood details. So I'm just going to glue the two together. We're going to glue them here on the base and then at the top right here so that we connect it all. So I'm just going to be using my pan and glue gun to do this. It's actually broken just yesterday as I was crafting it lasted a very long time so this is the part that's broken <laughs> and I kind of just have to push the glue like this so just bear with me while I do that until I get a new one Now I'm using this Poundland planter and I'm also going to be using this hook, it's the only one I've got, I know it's really huge and you don't need to do this, you can use a smaller hook and Poundland do have a lot, these are all from Poundland, or you can even just tie it over if you don't want to use a hook at all, just shorten it because if you're using the same plant that I am it's very very long and you don't need all of that height, so you can just turn it around like this on the frame and then knot it so like I said you won't need a hook if you do it that way but I am going to be using this really big hook <laughs> and hopefully it won't look too big when it's like hanging from it and then again like I mentioned I'm going to be shortening this because it's way too long so I'm going to find the center in the frame and I'm just going to try to get that nice and secure so we can hang the planter from it Once you have it hanging, you can add some stones or rocks to the bottom, or you can even paint it or spray paint it. You know there's a spray paint that has a rock or stone texture, I think that would look really nice. Again, I'm just making do with what I have. And then to finish off, I'm just taking this succulent. I was debating whether I should take them out and then have like three and add moss to it but I kind of like it like this so you can add more, you can add flowers if you like, anything that you want. I'm just going to add this in the centre and finish up there. For the next DIY we are going to be making a lantern now. In Poundland you get two of these for just a pound. So I've got these from another project. You can see the glass is missing so yours will have a glass with it which is going to be a bonus. So imagine that these have glass in it, okay? <laughs> so you're going to need, let's see, you're going to need four for the structure and then this will be optional if you want to save money you don't have to do this. But I think I'm going to add like a little bit of detailing on the top so we're going to create a roof to do that you're going to need one two three four you're going to need four sides these long sides here so you're going to need another two packs so that's going to mean 
six frames in total or four if you aren't going to add the roof to it. Once you have all your frames we're going to just start sticking it all together so just taking the hot glue again attaching one side together and then doing the same for this side Adding our final one there. So like I mentioned you can leave off there and just add your candles and greenery if you like. I'm going to create a roof now. I have ran out of black frames so I've only got the white ones and I think I'm going to just paint them so that they are black. So be careful with this bit. going to get rid of this with some pliers and then just doing the same for the other one the other frame so that I can have four in total and when you need to just get rid of these bits with some pliers now we're going to begin creating the roof adding some hot glue just to the tip there and then you want to angle it like this now doing the same on the other side I think that's a bit too much ugly and then you're going to add hot glue at the top so you can join the two corners and I'm just going to carry on doing that adding hot glue to the corners securing these on there. You can tell I'm a crafter because I have saved this and it's just come in handy for this project. This was just cut off from the planter from the first DIY. So what I'm going to do is just wrap it on top and knot it so that this is like a decoration I suppose but you can also use it to hang. Okay so you won't have to do this but I have to paint it black so I'm just going to do that and then I'll be back once I've finished and once it's dry. I've added some greenery to it using one of Poundland sprays in the artificial flower section and now I'm going to be taking three LED candles. This is also from Poundland. This is the one that I'm using. It was actually from Christmas time. I'm going to add some twine around it just to give it a little bit of detail in the centre of the candles. Now you're going to flip your lantern so that you've got the bottom and you're going to add some hot glue because we're going to be attaching a glass so that you've got a base. Now I'm going to add the candles inside. And then finally I think I'm just going to decorate a little more I'm using these flowers. Again these are from Poundland, they're from the bouquet in the wedding section. Just added two at the back and one at the front and we are done with DIY number two. I finally got a new glue gun, the hubby just went and got it for me while I was crafting. Can you believe this is just two pounds? It really does last a long time. For the final DIY you're going to need two frames, well you're actually going to need two glasses but because you need the frame to get the glass you're going to need two frames in total. So 
I've got one here and then I've removed the glass from the other. I'm just going to set that aside for now. I'm going to open this up and remove the backing. So I just got the frame out and it's broken. Brand new, broken. Unfortunately, my husband just went and got this just for the craft. I literally just sent him and he got the glue gun with it. And now the shops are closed, so I'm going to just somehow have to make do with this. Maybe I can just kind of hot glue it together. So definitely check your frames before you buy them. And this DIY is really nice and simple, quick. And also you'll be saving a lot of money because things like this pressed flowers in frames cost a lot of money. We're going to be making this for under two pounds. You're going to take your pliers and remove these clips because they're going to show and you don't want that. Now to secure the glass, so this is the first glass that we're working with, I've added some hot glue around the borders so that it's nice and stable. So now I've got some greenery, this is ah, oh, this is actually fern that I have pressed. And if you've never pressed flowers or plants before, it's really simple. Just grab whatever you want to, you know, preserve pretty much. And then put it in a page inside a book, close the book, add some weight to it and just keep it there for a few days or a week. And then when you get it out, it's going to look like this. They are really fragile, as you saw, this just basically broke off. I can't actually try to hot glue that back on. So I'm taking both of them and face them downwards. It's up to you what you place in yours. You can have some flowers, you can just have one fan. I don't know if I'm actually going to go for two. It feels like it's a bit squishy. Okay, so I'm going nice and simple, just with one. And then what we're going to do is grab your hot glue. We're going to place glue all across the border on the gra on the glass. Sorry, I was about to say grass. You've got to be quite quick when you do this. Also making sure all of this any glue that's on there that you get rid of it. Just press it down, make sure that it sticks on really nicely. How high end does that look? So, so happy with it. Now, for the backing, you can add some twine like rope if you want to hang it. Or you can add a backing that Pound and sell. They've got quite a lot of different ones so that you can hook it onto the wall. And this would look so lovely if you've got like a set of three. I'm just doing one so that you can kind of get the idea. And here's a quick look at how all three DIYs look together. I hope that this has inspired you. Make sure you subscribe if you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.